right, so this is going to be the rib, right? So we're going to basically look at a rib here. So if we look here at the rib, this part right here is actually going to be kind of like the actual anterior component of the ribs. This is the part that attaches to the sternum. And then this part right here is actually going to be the vertebral part that attaches with the thoracic vertebrae right here. So if you look here, this piece right here that I'm actually going to tap right there, this top piece right there, this is actually called the superior facet of the rib. And then this one down here is the inferior facet of the rib. This is pretty much the shaft of the rib right there. The whole thing is the shaft of the rib. Okay. If you look here, I'm going to kind of move my finger along this part right there. This is actually called the coastal groove, and that's really important. The reason why it's really important is because the coastal groove always points down. And so what that means is I can tell which type of rib this is. I can tell whether it's a right rib or a left rib. How would I tell that? This is the posterior surface, this is the anterior surface, and I know the coastal groove always points down. So this is a right rib. That's kind of helpful for me, right? Then if I look over here, I got a little tubercle of the rib. So there's my tubercle of the rib. I okay, guess so I got the tubercle of the rib, and then I got this little neck part of it, and then again I got the, the head, which is the superior facet and the inferior facet. Why is this important is I wanted to show you here, I'm going to bring the thoracic vertebrae here. So if you look here, here's going to be our thoracic vertebrae. So here's a thoracic vertebrae. And the thoracic vertebrae are important because if you remember, they had those demi facets or those coastal facets. Well, they were right here on the side. So what happens is, is they actually articulate very interestingly. They fit right in here. And for example, the superior facet up here of the rib will articulate with the inferior demi facet of the upper thoracic vertebrae, okay? So that's kind of interesting. And then the inferior facet of the rib will articulate with the superior demi facet of the lower thoracic vertebrae. And then this tubercle will articulate with the transverse process. So if I stick it right there, it would go right there perfectly. Okay, so that's gonna show that connection. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look here um, at this part of the actual, like for here's going to be our sternum, right? So this is going to be the manubrium right here. And this is going to be the jugular notch right there. This is the clavicular notches over there. And then if you look here, we have the sternal angle right there. And then this is going to be the body of the sternum. There's a little joint there called the xiphosternal joint. And then this part down here is going to be called the xiphoid process. It's really important whenever you're actually doing CPR, you should feel for the xiphos, uh, xiphoid process because if not, you can break it off and I'll stab someone in the liver. All right, so if you look over here, these are going to be your ribs here. So this is, you know, ribs one, ribs two, ribs three, ribs four, ribs five, ribs six, ribs seven, ribs eight, ribs nine, and ribs ten. Now that's important. The reason why I'm going to mention all of those is that you have actually two more down here, two pairs, which is going to be 11 and 12, and those are your floating ribs, okay? And we'll show you those later on, on this whole skeletal uh, guy. All right, but here's what's important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are all your vertebrosternal ribs, meaning they're your true ribs, okay? So these ones down here, which is eight, nine, and 10, those are the vertebrochondral ribs. Those are your false ribs. And if you see all this stuff right there, that's just basically uh, the coastal cartilage right there, okay? All right, so that's gonna cover pretty much everything we need for this guy here.